Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the progress of Ryzen 3000. So I've done a few of these before on all the rumors and speculations about this CPU. But there has been a brand new article released recently by P PC Games N that kind of caught my attention. The main point being that they think they have a good release date going that came from speculations, rumors, leaks, etc. And that date for the release is July 7th, potentially to fit in with the thing that it's a 7 nanometer processor, so of course it's gonna be 7 7. That kind of seems likely because, as they also say later in this article, which I will link down below, AMD did say that the CPU will be launching sometime in the middle of the year so that would be a pretty good release date and was also just two months after Computex which is when the CEO of the company Dr. Lisa Zhu will be doing some kind of presentation so that, um, that makes the whole July 7th release date really likely it gives them just enough time to build up that last momentum after that keynote at Computex in May which I will definitely be watching and I guess it will give them time to so polish everything and just prepare everything for July 7th and it just makes sense seeing how much of a fuss they're doing how it's 7 nanometer processor especially seeing how Intel is still having issues with it so it's kind of like a nice final slap in the face to Intel to release it on July 7th as they still haven't gotten to making 7 nanometer processors maybe they will soon but we never know anyway as always I'll be linking this article down in the video description below let me know if you think that the july 7 date is reasonable a lot i think it could happen releasing it on july 7 is a very amd thing to do but anyway i hope you enjoy this video if you did remember to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in whatever i make next goodbye everyone goodbye <laughs>